So on January the 17th of 1914, the Technology Club of New York had a large event in New York City and they invited then President McLaren as their guest. And it was during that session there was discussion about establishing a mascot for MIT. At first there was thoughts about a kangaroo and then an elephant for the different virtues and personality traits and qualities that those animals brought. But then when they referenced a book on uh, animals of North America, they found that the beaver best exemplified the MIT spirit and the student of the day, specifically for its engineering and mechanical skills. So at that uh, event, they presented the president with two mounted beavers and introduced the proposal that the beaver be established as the mascot, which the president at that meeting accepted. And that was the beginning of that relationship. The whole idea of mascots actually comes into popularity right about the same time as MIT is founded in the mid 19th century around the 1860s. The word mascot itself is a French word that means lucky charm, and it gets connected up with sports teams a lot in the 19th century. So it's not surprising about the time that MIT is really pulling together, and the Alumni Association is founded, it starts to have athletic associations, sports teams, student life, that some of the alumni begin to think that MIT needs a mascot. The beaver, nature's engineer, industrious, nocturnal, it's all the qualities that MIT students at that time, MIT alumni at that time possessed, and certainly they're recognizable to us today. In 1977, the first beaver costume, if you will, appeared on campus. It was the 50th anniversary of the class of 1927 and they wanted to celebrate the beaver's role and of course they had been students in the early days when the beaver had been identified as the mascot and it started then to take off as a as a regular element of activities around the campus what you see behind me is if not the first certainly one of the early uh, costumes of tim the beaver. See the oversized head with the windows and then the bottom that is especially fun because you can see this suit that uh, people would get in and put on and then in fact it has a giant beaver tail that hangs. I always thought mascots were pretty cool. You know, they just bring happiness in people's lives and I wanted to be someone who could do that. You know, you just put on the suit, you walk around, uh, give people high fives, shake their hands, give them hugs, pose for a lot of pictures. Being Tim, uh, it's really, there's not many rules to it. I think the main rule is you can't talk, but that's why anyone who puts on the suit can have their own little twist to being Tim Beaver. For me personally, I just give a lot of thumbs up and shooting high fives. I sometimes do little dances when I'm, the mood is kind of like dimming down at the party so I just do a little jig and people just get right back up to dancing. I'm actually one of the shortest Tims that we have. Um, suit's a little big on me but it mostly fits. There's actually a lot of girls that are Tims that people don't realize. Like you usually imagine it's a big tall guy in the suits, but really, I'm, I'm a Tim. Now Tim's an interesting name in and of itself because there's no official time or record or meeting where that became the name other than it just evolved and basically it's MIT flipped around. T-I-M, MIT. I think everyone is very clear in first time they see Tim, 
He is a very welcoming figure. Uh, he's fun. He looks like he's having a good time. Uh, but not to be misunderstood. He's a hard worker and uh, very much uh, engaged in what he's about.